Hey punters, you're listening to the 13 o'clock, one of the few mainstream media, scratch that, I ain't mainstream, nothing mainstream about me at all, one of the few independent news sources that you can come to and get the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the fucking truth. And here we go, a lot of my articles I like to read for the visually impaired. The Great Aussie Censorship Crisis. PM Alco's Big Brother Dream. Bruh. I'm the Prime Minister. <laughs> G'day punters. Our depraved Prime Minister Alco has decided he's the keeper of our digital souls. According to him, social media needs a dose of social responsibility. But let's call it what it is. A thinly veiled attempt at censorship. Elko's spiel about protecting young minds is about as convincing as a dingo guarding a baby. What? He quadrupled funding for the LMP's e-safety commissioner, claiming it's to shield innocent eyes from damaging material. But who decides what's damaging? Sorry, Elko, but we're not buying what you're peddling. Censorship has never been the hallmark of a free society. Just ask history. It's littered with despots who silence dissent under the guise of protection. We don't need a nanny state telling us what to read, watch or think. What we need is less government meddling in our lives and more focus on real issues like homelessness, mental health, soaring bills and corruption. And the irony, a left-wing government parading with nude LGBTQ P plus, fuck that's a mouthful, LGBTQ P plus crowds in front of children wants to regulate your online viewing habits. Oh, and for those same children, exposed, exposed to pride titties and waxed, waxed bollocks swaying in the wind. Yeah. Talk about cognitive dissonance. Meanwhile, real societal problems are ignored or twisted beyond recognition by the failed uniparty. Domestic violence? More men suffer and die in Australia, but hey, let's ignore that inconvenient truth. And let's look at the suicide rates amongst the trans community, but not mention that the highest rates in Oz are from blokes. It's great talking up non-existent gender inequality punters whilst we are all covered by sex discrimination laws equally. So let's raise a middle finger or two to PM Alco and his evil censorship brigade. Our voices won't be muzzled by power-hungry politicians on both sides of the aisle. Keep pushing back, reclaim your digital freedom and say no to the nanny state. Stay vigilant, my fellow Aussies. The fight for freedom never ends and we won't back down. Not now, not ever. Cheers. I'm Senator Baba Gajikaralambrus from the 13 o'clock news. And you are fucking legends. <laughs>